I came in like a wave. You did. Hello. <laughs> We're the book coven. We uh, are. That over there is Chelsea. That's Lillian. And we are. Oh, well, here's where I said we're the book coven. We're the book coven. Yeah, we're the book coven. I fucked it right up. Right from the beginning. Good start. Jelly. Good, yep. It's a great start for January, you know. It's the middle of the month. It's a f- shit show. And we are here with our last pick for Dark Magic theme. Woo. What a theme it's been. Love some dark magic. It gets a bad rap. It doesn't have to be bad. Mm. These books have had quite some They also have both been surprised sci-fi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so really strange. surprising <laughs> books. Um, oh, sorry. That's good. Cool. Again, a cover, beautiful. Oh, so and beautiful. I did like I feel like an old lady, but while I was reading this book, because I if you if you're watching this, you can see it is like bigger font mm. and more compact. So even though it's longer, I read it quick pretty quickly mm. and like it was really easy on my eyes. So I was <laughs> like shocked by how old I'm getting. Once again. Not even 30, folks. Not even nope. 30. <laughs> Just kissing it and (laughs) basically 95 years old. Here we go. Hot synopsis. Upon the cliffs of a remote Scottish island, Lawn Haven, stands a lighthouse. A lighthouse that has weathered more than storms. Mysterious and terrible events have happened on this island. It started with a witch hunt. Now, centuries later, islanders are vanishing without explanation. Coincidence or chaos? Mm. Liv Stay flees to the island with her three daughters in search of a home. She doesn't believe in witches or dark omens or hauntings. But within months, her, daughter's, her daughter Luna will be the only one left. Twenty years later, Luna is drawn back to the place her family vanished. As the last sister left, it's, it's up to her to find out the truth. But what really happened at the lighthouse all those years ago? Mm. I wasn't crazy about this synopsis here, I'll be no. honest. Yeah. Um, in the book, it's not as good as the one online. Oh, yeah, so they're different sometimes. Whoever sorted that shit out, Shoop. get it together, man. You fucked it up. I don't want it to fall and yeah. break the wine. <laughs> oh, my God, not the wine. Not the wine. Not the wine. Anything but the wine. <laughs> Speaking of wine, that Ooh. is obviously our potion mm. of our potion and parent section. A rouge. Have a nice apothic something. Uh, is it a caviar? Just red. Okay. It's just red. <laughs> <laughs> and I made these shortbread, lavender lemon vegan shortbread cookies because shortbread is big in Scotland. Mm. So cheers. Oh, cheerio. Cheerio. Drinking wine. Yay. Woo. I love your glass. That's <laughs> Thank a good you. glass. Ran out of all the other stems. I really like obnoxiously large wine glasses. They just feel fun. so much fun to drink, yeah. Sometimes I put beer in it just because I really like drinking out it of holds, it. It holds a lot, man. It holds a lot of holds liquid. holds a whole tall can. I remember in my youth, I would fill up the glasses thinking that's oh. just what you do. You know what? Sometimes when you go to a bar, that is what they do. And that's how you wind up getting kicked out and dragged home <laughs> vomiting. It was one time. <laughs> But yes, oh, that you, was because they filled the bucket. You handled glass. yourself like an absolute lady. <laughs> <laughs> what a night. Hugging the guy kicking you out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so nice about this. <laughs> and they were like, okay. <laughs> Ma'am, get home safe. Leave, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> this book. I what loved it. Fu- yes. <laughs> I think it was the vibes for me. It was all about the fucking vibes because were Scotland, vibes. especially the Highlands of Scotland. Yes. Oh my, it's gloomy all the fucking time. Yeah. The sea is always choppy and aggressive. Yeah. Um, it really does feel like you went into another time. If you go deep into the Highlands nice. where like you can't see the cities, That's it's awesome. such a magical fucking place. That's how it felt reading yes. this too. It is by far one of my favorite top places. And I would go there again in a heartbeat. I want to explore all of Scotland. I can't get enough of Scotland. It is like 
my dark soul in a, in a town vibe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was the perfect oh book. Oh, my God. And the colorful houses. Oh, oh. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love Scotland. Um, and, yeah, this book was so much fun to read. It was. It really was. It was, like, dark, but in, like, a. A fun, yeah, like dark way. things happen. Yeah, and like it's a dark undertone the whole way through. But like it's also still fun because yeah, you're following a bunch of women who just do really yeah, either dumb shit. stuff or like just adventure. Yeah, again, <laughs> the the family and the bond they have with each other mm-hmm. was another huge selling point mm-hmm. in the story. Like our last magic book. Yeah, um, yeah, this one family of four. Excuse me, four women <laughs> and a single mom too. Love a single mom yeah. who's fucking weathered and sick of it, <laughs> and her annoying fucking kids who don't appreciate what she does. I mean, maybe they would if she told them she had cancer. Yeah, she did not have the best approach to no, it. I no. don't think in the history of cancer, anyone has just ignored it, run away, away from yeah. it by moving to a new house. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's you're still bleeding. Yeah. knock knock. I'm Hello. here. <laughs> Go to a doctor. Please. It could have been preventable, perhaps, if you Maybe. went the first time you had a symptom. Mayhaps. Could have, could have been removed. Who's but to say? now it's in your stomach and liver and then Oof. toast to you. Mm. Yeah, a bit of a surprise bummer mm-hmm. at the end. But mm. overall, I think it had like a good, hopeful vibe to it. It did. They found each other in and the most yeah. extreme, ridiculous of circumstances. <laughs> So good for you guys. That's what I loved about the ending is that they yeah. actually, I was like thinking it the whole way through. Like I, if fuck, I really hope yeah. they do come together and they did. And, and she really, great. the author really had us speak. Oh, I didn't say the author's name. CJ Cook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she didn't really explain anything until like the no. last hundred. <laughs> it was getting real close. Yeah. There. And, and you're like, like huh? there's a lot to wrap up. I was initially worried, but yeah. then it was done well. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. got everything. Um, and yeah, it, it went in so many different ways, so many different places than I thought it would go, but yeah. I loved all of it. Yeah. And I'm so happy we read it. We don't read enough nautical wish books. <laughs> we spend so much time shit. in the lighthouse. The sea, listen, <laughs> the ocean is my biggest fucking fear. I, can, I can't really hear out of the headphones. Excuse me, tech emergency. Tick, 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 Hello? Tick, tick. Okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, what was I saying? The sea. Yeah, the sea is fucking horrifying. And then you throw a witchcraft into the mix. <laughs> something I love with something I yeah. hate. I was so conflicted. <laughs> Am I scared? Am I excited? <laughs> I loved the history. I loved throwing, uh, what's his name, Patrick in there. Yeah. Just like, like the story would have been the same without Patrick. Yeah. But having that whole thing in there where, where we get the history of the witches and like the burnings and everything and then him in the future. That was great. I don't know. I kind of wish he wasn't in the future. It was a weird, <laughs> like, now I'm going to kidnap you moment. It like came out of nowhere, but it was like kind of explaining yeah, I just like, wish she just found the, the grimoire and that. But it didn't really because is she a descendant of Amy? Is that why? No, he I was think so... he was just like you look like her, and it's been so long since I've seen her that mm. I'm losing my shit. But I don't know, maybe because in his it hasn't been that long. I think in his mind because he True. jumps through time, right? Which is another love of this book. It was surprise time travel. I just and I like that when he went back. They didn't kill her anyway, so it's like you no. you ran away for yeah. nothing. If you ju- literally just stayed a second longer. So much would have been avoided. <laughs> so much. But you know, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna go all action right away. Hang yeah. man who needs him. Let's but that's go. the thing, if he wasn't in the future, he wouldn't have hired Liv to paint the lighthouse. That's so true. She would have never made that's it there. That's true. I do still think there's something there. And then mm, that just never was maybe. explained, maybe. but teased. And I'd like, there was a lot in this book that you're like, she could have been a descendant. Yeah, totally. And because she felt drawn to the place too, she did. and like instantly calmer. Yeah. And she was cured for like a day of cancer right. from the water. Once she when she believed it. Yes, though. you are the placebo, Liv. So you yeah, are the placebo. 
it could technically be done. She, if she didn't, it's because she was running away from it. If yeah. she was just like, no, I don't have cancer enough. If she applied her magics to that, maybe she could have. <laughs> well, if she's the hereditary witch, that it sounds yeah. like she might. Be. But her just like, no, I'm just, you know, I'm bleeding. But I'll just, um, I'll just pretend this is go to bed <laughs> happening. Yeah, it's fine. Even Finn was like. Please, Please a goddamn yeah. <laughs> doctor. You f- I want to be alive for my girls, but I'm also not going to see a doctor. But okay, love. Denial. Okay. <laughs> Once again, in every single book we've been reading recently, if they just spoke to each other. Oh, communication. Yep. yep. Like they did in the book of accidents. I know. That family was they were together till the end. Yeah. yeah. Just say, hey, girls, mm-hmm. I'm fucking scared. I'm going to be honest. I'm scared. And I'm all alone here. I know we're technically homeless, homeless, and it's mm-hmm. a mess. But you know, you fuckers try raising you. It's a lot. <laughs> it's there a are lot. three of them, and one's a teenager. Yep. Ugh, Safi. Nightmare. Okay, so let's go through our family of girls. We got Liv, the mom, um, single mom, most mm-hmm. of her life. We got Safi. Her first kid came unexpectedly. Yep. Um, and then she had uh, Clover and Luna from Sean, the stepdad, mm-hmm. who Safi felt was like her dad. Yeah. And that's why she's such a bitch is because she didn't get to say goodbye. I do like the cookies. I like it, yeah. <laughs> lavender. I do love lavender. So fresh. So summery. Mm. Mm. Summer Scotland. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, the family. Stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> this whole family is a goddamn mess. Yeah. Which is perfect because a lot of families, especially this day and age, yeah. with the world in chaos, <laughs> everyone's a mess. Mm-hmm. Um, no one made good decisions in this book. Yeah. Absolutely none of them. Safi's whole, I'm going to run away to prove a point. <laughs> She won't even miss me. She's your fucking mother. She's going to miss you and it's going to throw her world into right. upheaval yeah. and cause depression, you idiot. <laughs> I hated Safi, but I also loved how being a teena- teenager was portrayed because it's everything is so like desperate dramatic and yes like it's it's this or it's nothing. Yes, exactly. And it's like centered around you. Not, or- yeah, and like getting um manipulated by a boy like that oh yeah because you just you don't want to feel like you're not doing something that other girls should be doing right um so oh my gosh she just every bad decision a teen could made this girl made oh God, in a she? row in the in like the span of two weeks <laughs> and yeah she was right for like Liv is such a disaster she did mm-hmm. not notice her daughter was missing <laughs> Yeah. For quite a few. Well, I thought yesterday she was at her friend's house and she slept over there. Was that not... Did you that should, not happen? If you don't what? see, <laughs> physically see your yeah. child every day. Right. There's an issue there. right. <laughs> Take a gander. Take, send a text. Hey, you there? Yeah. <laughs> send me a picture of you in your room. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, But it made for good reading. It did. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's family drama, but it wasn't too, like wilder out there so yeah and i i liked that the family drama was like a family of women mm-hmm. all being dramatic with each other because like you know that that's how it would be chaos three girls and their mom <laughs> i'm gonna have to get that later <laughs> oh my cat <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah everyone is so high energy and so yeah. like everyone hates me and no one's gonna notice when i'm gone and everyone need was so high maintenance with that kind of yeah, thing yeah, because and they Liv all needed is, attention yeah like, fucking oh, fuck. live it has this whole like i didn't want kids i don't know if i but i love my kids yeah, but also if i didn't have them that would be great but i love <laughs> them but i also don't want them it's real just everything is very high drama mm-hmm. high mess and Fuck, I love a messy gal. Yeah. Because life is messy, man. Yeah. And it's good to show that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of folklore. There's wildlings, yeah. which there's not a lot on wildlings, changelings, but then it wasn't even wildlings. Yes. So it's <sighs> the best of both worlds. Surprise Loved time it. travel. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Which I don't know how, even me, I like, they were... They came back into the world with years marked on their skin. 
So it should have been obvious that it was time travel. They're just <laughs> like numbers. They're scrap. Whoa, what could this mean? Well, it says 2021 and the girl is still seven. I didn't put it together either. <laughs> no. I fully drank the Kool-Aid of that oh, town. So I was like, funny. this is a wildling. And then I realized, like, had I grown up in that town with those histories, I would have killed my child. I wasn't buying it because I thought, like, this is this seems like the modern day witch hunt, right? Because yeah, they had the big, witch hunt yeah. in the 1700s that they, or 1600s yeah, that they were talking repeats about. repeats itself. It's the fucking... It was the same thing. The rumors, the yeah. small town mentality is yes. a big theme in this book where in like a city it would seem ludicrous. Like right. Liv immediately is like, you killed a child, ma'am, yeah. <laughs> and admitted it to be. Yeah. So, okay. Yep. Um, but the, all of them are like, yeah, no, this is a wildling. I just can't. I I loved reading that at the end. That like, yep, no, that woman just killed people's children. Yeah, <laughs> her own child. But and it was. I mean, it's kind of like a like nothing really happened though. Like if they touched hands, they would have fused. Right. Yeah. Which, so killing which them happened didn't. with with um, Luna. Yeah, but also like it, it's kind of like you kill your kid but like get away with it because like there's really no like repercussions like in the long run yeah but i think some of the kids might have touched and like or i think the other oh because because if you if you just go forward in time not back there's still only one of you oh yeah i get not everyone had the duplicates yeah sorry yeah it was just luna okay that woman was just killing children But honestly, I was a little fr- frightened because with my paranoia, <laughs> if someone, if I grew up with tales, like if you see a mark right. right here on this person's skin and I saw two of my kid, right. I would kill the one with the marks. I'd be like, this is a wildling. Well, it freaks you out. And like, yeah, if that's what you're told, but mm-hmm. like, fuck, I don't know. Because like, you want to say there's got to be another explanation, but then you also don't want to be that person where it's like, am I just yeah. trying, am I just delusional? Mm-hmm. But uh, and then Clover was she tried to drown Luna yeah. and set the house on fire, so, which wasn't really explained. I don't know if that's like a normal childhood trauma well, response. She did say this is the trauma response because she works with uh, at risk youth. So she was saying like this is normal when you take them to their first foster home and stuff like that. They they, they lash out and fucking trying to burn the place down. Jesus yeah, Christ. arson is like. That's an at-risk youth common thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm glad that they gave her that story that she was working with youth. Yeah, good shit that she used her trauma yeah, for something. Because otherwise, like, if she had any other job and Clover was doing all of this stuff, she would have just fucking sent her back. <laughs> All right, you take her. I can't Once do was this. an accident. Twice. Yeah, you're out. And now I got to pay the Airbnb oh. cleaning Oh, my fee. God, Yeah. Get out. Uh, This is too much. No. No. (laughs) I don't think this is my my sister. (laughs) I totally forgot. My sister went missing 22 years ago. This isn't her. (laughs) Yeah. How did no one clock that? I have no idea. In the paperwork, they would have seen she went missing in 1998. Couldn't have been that small of a town (laughs) that it's just like not documented. (laughs) Yeah. So... I don't know. I guess the, the social workers are just like, oh, fuck it. Just I'd yeah, that, it. that was Lucy Goosey. It was 2021 in the pandemic, so maybe hospital beds just <laughs> we don't have running room. out of them. <laughs> sure, you can take her. You seem all right. You're fine. We'll follow up. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Good luck. Get the fuck out of here. We got twelve unvaccinated that are dying. <laughs> Get them in. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh my god, yes. I love a decades old curse. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I understood what their goal of the curse was making time travel. That is weird that, and oddly specific. Like, why is that yeah. your curse? Because, like, yes, they wound up killing the kids, but it's not like that was an obvious. Right. I guess it was just maybe because they repeat um, the witch trials over and over where innocent people mm. die. Because I did like that part in um, Patrick's journal where he pointed out that because they killed the uh, Finwell and his mom and all them, mm-hmm. who were she was the only midwife, right. three women oh, died yeah. in childbirth. They literally killed their own doctors yes. at that time. Idiots. 
And which in turn, yeah, how many people died because of this. Right. Dumb. We're not any smarter today. So nope. It's great. Nope. <laughs> Just <I> dandy. Never <laughs> learn. Yeah, in this book, 2021, they're still killing kids. She goes back to the island and they put glass in her meal. Yep. That was a fun <laughs> twist. Suddenly, an I like how calm town. she's like, nope, we're leaving now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're not staying yep. here. We're going to find a just place to hunker down. Mm-hmm. Don't eat anything. Holy fuck. <laughs> They were ready to go, though. They yeah. don't mess around. <laughs> Changelings, you're fucking dead. That's insane. Yeah, small town mentality in the witch hunts. Like, mm-hmm. Holy shit. Um, my only um, gripe with this book is that sometimes the time travel, specifically with Luna, it was a little, like, it wasn't the smoothest. Mm. Sure, Luna in the future kind of came out of nowhere mm-hmm. and it caught me a little off guard. Um, so that could have just been written a little mm. smoother. Maybe started her later on in the book oh, in okay. the future. Yeah. I don't know. I was, and Safi, I at times completely <laughs> forgot about her. That she existed because she wouldn't a little be bit. in the chapters for, right. for a long time. It's because she didn't interact with anyone in her family. Yeah, and when she <laughs> did, it was just teen angst. Exactly. Constant teen angst. <laughs> yeah. No one ever got to speak to her, really. Jesus Christ. I did love that Luna had the numbers on her knee, like the back of her knee, and she saw one of them and was just like, huh, that's an, that that's the number eight on the back of my knee. Yeah. That's weird. Because then you're like, fuck, is she a changeling? Do changelings just not remember what, like, what they are? <laughs> yeah, because her whole family was indeed gone. Right. So. <laughs> What a what a trauma to remember. Oh yeah, I slit everyone's throat. Whoops. Oopsie. My mom tried to kill me. Yay. Yeah, it's a whole heck of a mess. And even and even social services didn't bring that up. Like that no. she was ditched in the woods by her missing mother. Right. Who they also seemed to think was just around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. So a little fucky at times, <laughs> but all in all, entertainment abound. Yes, absolutely. Um, the magic, it wasn't actually like, there was magic. Yes, a curse was thrown. Is there still hair in there? I think so. I mean, it's your hair, though. Still, it must die. <laughs> Is it in there? Am I on crack? You're seeing hair. Maybe it's witchcraft. <laughs> Someone cursing me with hair in my life. I don't think there's anything in there. I mean, what's the what's the oh, worst that is. could happen? If you drink hair, who hasn't drank a hair? It's just a fluff. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> I'm so distracted now. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Sometimes there's uh, hair in your wine. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, save the wine! Oh my god, I got wine on my bat. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, my God. My whole brain just shut down, Chelsea. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, we got... How did I get here? We got the kid people dying the grimoire. <laughs> you know what? I'm going hot into themes because I've okay. lost track of Beautiful. time and space. <laughs> so it is It is um, sold as a fantasy, yes. Mm. A horror? No. No. Absolutely not. No. Dark things, but it, horror, no. no. And I wish people would stop throwing the term yes. horror around loosey-goosey, like right? it'll sell hot shit. Yeah, it would, because everyone wants horror. Mm-hmm. Actual horror. And but not... If, if you miss uh, genre it, yeah, you're going to just get bad reviews. <laughs> yeah, it's not horror so. at all. Decapitate some kids. Right. Give me some ghosts. Then we might have then a horror. It's horror. <laughs> mystery, certainly. It's a yeah. mystery. Yeah. What's going on Definitely. in this place? Who the fuck knows? Um, yeah, it is witchcraft. That was that's what I was talking about. It's mm. witchcraft, but it's not like an, an uh, exuberant amount of. It's just that one yeah. curse and the yeah. shenanigans. Yeah, from no one questioning the curse that mm-hmm. happened. That's it. That's all. The, and it wasn't even dark magic, technically. No. They burnt them alive and right. they were pissed. And they were mad. So, yeah. hello. You deserve it. And that uh, Amy was like, 
a witchy. Right? She so. was a fucking. <laughs> and again, it pisses me right the fuck off that all of us could be that inherently witchy <laughs> if religion mm. didn't come around and just fuck everyone over right? with their Catholic bullshit. We wouldn't need. God, we could all just be sick medicine women. I was going to say, we don't need, like, Pfizer anymore. We just make our own antidepressants. <laughs> yep, but no. Let's just pump us all full of drugs, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's all in our water now. <laughs> That's why we drink wine. Oh, uh, whatever. We're all going <laughs> to die in 50 years anyways. The world is over. But anyways. Uh, paranormal? Um, no. Shockingly, no, it yeah, wasn't no. paranormal. It was just time travel, which seems paranormal. <laughs> just good old fashioned time travel, yeah, but is not <laughs> paranormal. Anyone, again, the years could have drawn a connection, but fuck <laughs> it. We got gothic. Mm. I mean, the little, uh, is it a bothy? Yeah, I guess it? the vibe was gothic. That was, that yeah. was gothic. It's a dark, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and gothic is. The vibe, I like, give me a dark, dank room any day of the week. Especially when they brought that light in and saw the numbers mm. written all around the lighthouse that you can only see in black light. That's oh, fucking scary. That would tickle my pickle. <laughs> I this just, place is hella cursed, yeah, but I'm here. I'm bro. here. <laughs> Tell me about who died here. Let me, let's get into this. Now I have to know. Oh my God. There's a website in Toronto. It's a real estate, but haunted houses. Oh, my God. So everyone's like, here's everyone that died here and the tale of it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I Amazing. Want to yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dark. Honestly, things so chaotic now, the darker the energy, fucking bring it on. Yeah, I want to see, see shit move around. Let's, let's go, boy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck anymore. I need some excitement. <laughs> we have Thriller, which um, it was eh, like a it had moments. gauche of yeah. a thrill to it. Which I don't say with any negativity because no. I was invested the whole story. Yeah, it doesn't have to be thrilling. She somehow made it like, because if you really think about it, not a lot happened until the last yeah. chunk of the book. But I was still like, what's going on with these girls? What yeah. is the source of the, what's the curse? Where will this go? Every time I put the book down after finishing a reading session, I looked at Brandon yeah. and I was like, I love this book. <laughs> so I think it's impressive when you can do quiet action mm. and keep people invested. Yeah. Um, and then the themes I came around with, we got the small town mentality we've covered. Oh, thank you, Madame. <laughs> you were um, running empty. <laughs> we've got fear. Everyone in here was ruled by fear. So true. Fear of will I die? Fear of does my mom love me? <laughs> fear of wildlings. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was fear. It's just a great big range of fear. And then we have Patrick, who's just like, is he a serial killer now? Yeah. Just carving out <laughs> ribs out of literally the worst time you could take someone's ribs he's already fucking exhausted <laughs> I think there's a good time <laughs> but like how okay how did he take her ribs all willy-nilly without fucking a he's like proper his, surgery yeah. and then his and yeah, honestly patrick is a i actually love him at whole 180 i used to hate him I, the end of the book, he's like, yeah, I'm skilled. She wasn't going to die. Look, it's fine. Okay, I took her ribs, but I didn't in a way that I didn't get any organs. I sewed her up. She's I mean, right. I appreciate the confidence. And then he's like, I'm grateful to her. Well, I, I left her in a burning lighthouse, but I'm sure she's all right. She's, she's good. Why was Why was he good at that? I don't know. <laughs> Where did he go? He traveled overseas. Where was that? I guess he did some shifty side work mm -hmm. in his Black time traveling. Yeah. Oh, it's because of the animals. He was doing the bone. He thought the bone thing was for animals for a long time. Right. So he was just um, practicing decimating oh. animals. Poor little animalies. Mm. And she like crawled away after, which like, bitch, I don't know. Your fucking ribs yeah, just came down out. down into a mystery hole that they kept saying was really deep. Oh, yeah. My God. <laughs> yes, I'd love to fall and break both my legs. Sure. Thank you. Would he have just left her outside, though, if she stayed? I don't know. Because yeah. I think he just wanted her ribs. Yeah, I don't think he gave a so shit what happened to her. 
<laughs> I would have left you. you I would have been I fine. I put you in the bed, but all right. If you want to go in the hole, you're in the hole. It did her well to go in the hole. Good on her for coming back just to 20. And you know what? She didn't have to stick around for raising those. She didn't have to struggle. <laughs> she had, her woes were at rest. Yep. They're fully grown, all is well. And then she can just <laughs> die in peace. You know what? She probably... Um, Oh, my. What was I going to say? Yeah. I know. Shit. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> what the seeing. fuck was I going to say? I don't know if it's Damn age it. or drugs, but so many of my thoughts these days are just <laughs> like, whoop. <laughs> and there she goes. Well, I have a different thought, too. Um, what's that one? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> when she comes back in 2021, is she like Luna's age? Oh, her mom? I think so. Right? How weird would that be? Yeah, that was one of my questions. What would you do, A, if your kid, came, if your sister came back, your sibling came back, and now they're the young one? Whoa. And you're the older sibling. And then I guess, yeah. Pick on your them. mom. <laughs> but then I had that same you thought, too. their Cheerios. But then I was thinking, what if the only reason my brother became a bully and was farting on me is because future me was pissed and farted all over him mm. so in retaliation he farts on me so mm. i'm the one that caused the farting <laughs> time travel <laughs> fart travel <laughs> it's wild you gotta think of everything <laughs> don't fart in your brother's cheerios just in case <laughs> just in case <laughs> i would have fucking slapped him right across the face i don't care if he's seven i would have fucking heated my yes. hands <laughs> Made this my turn. Fucking fam. <laughs> Don't cry about it. I didn't hit you that hard, you bitch. <laughs> and then fart on him. Time travel. <laughs> Stupid older brothers. <laughs> I would just grab his face and be like, you be nice to your goddamn sister. <laughs> you dumb idiot. <laughs> but my mom, oh fuck. Young mom. Yeah. That like, if she went missing now, and then when you were in your... What if you find her and she's exactly like you? Because then you know you, you're exactly like her as an adult. That's scary. And we all hate our moms in, like, a... <laughs> not in, like, a... <laughs> yeah, no. Not in yeah. a serious way, but in, like, a... Ugh. <laughs> I'll never be like her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you grow up. It's such a girl same. thing, it's right? It's the same goddamn thing, and you just <laughs> see that, and are like, oh, no... <laughs> Well, you're always one of your parents, so yeah, what if you end up, like, finding, like, you become the same age as them, and you oh. realize, oh, we're just the same, and then it takes the cake if you also look like them. She did look a lot like me. <laughs> she looked very flowy and free. Nice. She's a music nerd. Mm. I would, like, it would be neat to meet young parents. That's true. Just to see. Before the world yeah, totally before, before they ass. were like, oh my God, you're having three joints, <laughs> three marijuanas in one day. <laughs> Meanwhile, if I went Look back. Her, you used to be to fun. 20, <laughs> you were at my age in the 70s. Oh, early. yeah, exactly. You high all, your brother is fucked now because of how many drugs he did. And I know you got drugs from him. So calm down. Calm down, please. Ma'am, ma'am, please. <laughs> it's just twa marijuana. <laughs> oh, oh tits. no. I'll get it later. <laughs> yeah, age, you can't bend. You really got to think about when you bend. Is it worth it? No. Is it worth it? I'll just fall down. I'm so tired. <laughs> I was talking to my mom, and at this age, my age, she had us. Yeah. And she had, yep, fucking, she had cancer too. She had ovarian oh cancer. She healed it I, that they discovered after giving birth. Oh, so imagine you have a fuck. kid and you have to fight cancer. And you're like, cool, 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 cool. Meanwhile, I wasn't like, busy enough. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like six hours deep every day, Skyrim. <laughs> I don't fucking, I only go downstairs for hydration <laughs> and snacks. That's where I'm at, 20. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Millennials. Thank God, though. Ew. If I had a kid. Ew. Well, you know, people born in like 1915, let's say, they went Ugh. through Spanish flu, yeah. Great Depression, yeah. World War One, World War II, yeah. and then having to live to see their stupid millennial grandkids. <laughs> 
time travel is oh just to meet like fuck if i could i don't you know if i could go back to like my young nana mm. oh my god just to talk or fucking talk it all out yeah. with everyone from all the different see all the generations and how everyone got the way they were yeah, that'd be cool. Because we'll never see that shit. I don't know what they went through, right. our grandparents. Especially yeah, no one filmed anything. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> and people are going to say that about us one day. Like, whoa, what the things they went through in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, it's fine. We're, we're fine. <laughs> what did we do? We stayed inside. We, yeah, we just stayed inside. Um, it's okay. Just tried not to die with no help from the government. <laughs> um, it's a lot of depression, really. <laughs> Where they honestly are, I don't know what the future generations will be like, because our generation is very much like we could die in any day and be right. totally fucking fine. Right. So I imagine the next ones are just going to be <sighs> the same or worse. <laughs> just everyone is suicidal. All the time. <laughs> cool. And we have no mental health support. <laughs> Yay. Woo. Actually, Ontario has launched... Ability CB something, I don't know, oh. cognitive CBT. So there's like a online behavioral therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, which of course, um, <laughs> because my I get manic and I get depressed. Um, so when I'm oh one, I don't care to do anything. And when mm. I'm the other, I'm like, I don't need to do that. So I like started signing up and I never finished. But they have mm. a free program where you can talk to people online. Wow. <laughs> So. That sign-up sheet says a lot about your, your <laughs> mental health. Huh. No. No. <laughs> when I'm manic, I don't care. It's too... Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's good. Yeah. If you, if you need help during these trying times... There's a program for that. Yeah. Is it yeah. because it's just like ultra-anxiety now? Yeah, I think that's why yeah. they did it. They're Which honestly, like, you know, are, you we're know throwing what? money into it. Don't worry. We are at an advantage, though, because our whole lives have been anxiety or depression. So, so we're now used to it's it. just like, what are you crying about? Yeah, it's so true. You've been inside for a year. When? For a year? <laughs> there were times I didn't see the sun for fucking who knows how long. I haven't been calm in 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> basically. Well, what is calm, I don't remember. Lillian? What I is don't calm? Remember, just a, just simple peace. I don't remember. The phone rings and your heart doesn't leap out yeah. of your chest. Like, I haven't prepared for this script. No one gave me my script. <laughs> so, nice to your question off script. Um, um, uh, this hang is up. my first day. I <laughs> wish I could say that every day. It's my first day. My I first just don't day. know, ma'am. I saw you here two years ago. <laughs> Um, I have a condition where every day I don't I lose my memory. I'm so. Drew Barrymore in yeah. that movie. Every with day is a new day. Adam Thank you very much. I hope you feel like an asshole now. <laughs> I watch that movie every morning just so I know what I'm going through. <laughs> no, don't talk to me. Um, <laughs> questions that went uh, that went somewhere. <laughs> Um, so we've established we like this book. Highly mm. recommend it. Mm -hmm. Fucking read the shit out of it. Yep. If you were to go into the witch's hide, um, because you seem to push yourself into the time, you what do. year would you jump to or backwards Ooh. to? Ooh, never back, only forward. <laughs> <laughs> well. 2300. 2300, okay. Just to try it out. You know, it's not like so far in the future that I'd be yeah. like... A, I mean, I probably would be a sore thumb sticking out when you see like oh, the clothes, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, what are you wearing? <laughs> um, it's this bat suit. <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, 2300. <laughs> you go, it's just a ghost planet. Everyone is dead. You're like, huh. Oh, oh, great. If I could still breathe the air, I'd try and find some Future bunnies, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just hang out with the animals until Aww, I starve to death. if you go back and it's all animals and you are the czar of the animals. Ooh, yeah. If you go far enough back that it's like pre-human, that'd be <gasps> nice. What if you go far enough back and then it turns out you were the one that caused all the humans? Whoa. Dude. I want to meet travel. and get eaten by a dinosaur. Oh, I want to yeah. go that far back where everything's mad. big. You see a giant fucking sloth and you're like, 
doomed. Oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. And then it just sits on you and you're dead now. But at least you died seeing If I was old, I would go to the day the meteor hit and oh, fucked up the dinosaurs. Fuck Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What as a long as you know out. where Ground Zero is, yeah. sold. Oh, I, yeah, I want to be fucking zooted on 95, fucking my body shutting down, hit me with a meteor. Yeah. You it's get to see roll, baby. the dinosaurs, yeah. and you don't ruin anything by being there because they're yeah. already about to die. Yeah, and then you just... and you're like, boy, do I have news for you, Bam. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, time travel. <laughs> you know, I just don't want to fuck with it. Yeah. So many variables. <laughs> we discussed the what would you do if the version, <laughs> a young version of your older sibling. Um, okay, so if you were a witch, mm. as a witch, you I take this witch. job here, and you know there's sigils on the walls. You right. go in, you feel an immediate, like, terrible vibe. You know something horrifying happened here. Mm. Would you stay, or would you fuck off? Because you know, you know this place is fucked. Hmm. Would I stay? I Probably. I mean, I always tend to. Mm-hmm. Every time I have a feeling, I'm like, huh, that won't be good. And then I do it anyway. Like the other day I walked up to a shopping cart and I, sa- I said to myself, I'm like, there's something wrong with this cart. <laughs> I didn't know what, but I grabbed it anyway. And then it turned out that the wheels all went. <laughs> so like. <laughs> when you tough it out. <laughs> it's because we think we have to suffer. Yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> Stupid fucking cart. <laughs> I'll pick the hardest option always. <laughs> So oh, yeah, I'd yeah. stay. <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, I woke up from a nightmare terrified last night, and a huge part of me was like, I hope there's someone, I hope there's a ghost in this room. I want to turn around and see a I'd figure. Like, oh. <laughs> and I'd shit my pants and my heart would explode, but yes. I want to fucking yeah. scare me, baby. If you're going to be scared already, you want it to be worth it, oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. Oh, a truly haunted house, I would be honored. And I would tell the ghost, like, Oh, yeah. I'd never sleep, but yes, please. Throw me (laughs) across the fucking room. Let's get, spin me around. Then you're just like yelling, I have proof. I believe. I knew it. I fucking knew it. And they'd be confused. Yes. They wouldn't know what the fuck to do with this. Ma'am, you're supposed to be scared. (laughs) Spook me. I'm just enthralled. Spook me. (laughs) Such a glorious phase of like, I truly don't care. Throw me in a haunted house. Let's yeah. Go. Oh, heck yeah. Paranormal? Fuck yeah. Demons, I talk to them every day. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> we tried. We were in a haunted house. We felt some energy and shit. Yeah, and I wasn't mm-hmm. scared. I was, but we didn't again, get... excited. I, yeah, I it was really, It was tough to sleep. I wouldn't want to be in there Every time alone. we had the lights off, and we, oh. <laughs> it was a little spooky. When I want to see. I just We work ourselves up. A <laughs> ghost. <No>. Please. <laughs> It's oh, so much to ask. It's we're just, in too many new houses, you know? We don't we're not in a house from 1903. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah. We got to get one of those bad boys. Cuz those ghosts, man, people would react in fear, but I would after I poop my pants, mm. I would come back like, "Tell me your tale. Weave me, spin me a yarn. What mm. happened to you, bro? You bad mm. or good?" Can I always I think help you? things are home invasions, so if I started mm-hmm. hearing things, I would just be thinking someone's in the house. Like, it's always yeah. sexy to think it's ghosts at first, but for me, it's like, no, it's the fucking the man. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, goddamn yeah, yeah, Golden yeah, yeah. State Killer. He's going to put plates oh, on Brandon. Yeah, I'd fucking <laughs> stab the shit out of them now, honestly. I'm fully like, I'll kill you. If you come at me, I'm killing you. I have so many swords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There was uh, like a Lillian from a year ago would be like, oh, gosh, I don't know, but I'm fully I will saw your head off. If you come into my house for no reason, I will saw your head off. You're fucking dead. And I will say in court, he came into my house. Okay. Okay. I was minding my business, watching Netflix. Fight for my life. Playing my Skyrim. And this bitch thought he could stir shit up. So I took his head, invading his face, and I burned it for witchcraft. Thank you, and good day to you. You know what? You'd cut the head off, and then the police would come, and they'd be like, "I see this is self defense, but ma'am, where's the head?" And you're just like, you know, in all the kerfuffle, I have no idea. Was there a head here? (laughs) What? I don't know if this man ever had a head. I'm on my period. I can't. (laughs) 
<laughs> my mind. You just tell some men you're on your period, you're off the hook. <laughs> Oh, I got my period this morning. Whoa, ma'am, it's fine. Oh, it's, ma'am, it's, sure, it's okay. Sure, please, you, please. You know, they get emotional. The hormones do the up and the down. Yeah. We don't need that head. It's yeah. fine. It's, <laughs> it's Andrew. So I started working with the demon Andrew Malleus, nice. who is very, like, everything wrong with you in the world. He's like, this is what's wrong. And it just makes you so, like, I will fucking cut you. <laughs> and I love that energy. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Come at me, bro. I'd fucking kill you, but don't come at me because no. I also don't want to deal with it. But, but like, no. I'll fuck you up, but don't. But <laughs> <laughs> don't make me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Just to, just know that you'll die. If just you try don't. It, so don't. <laughs> Do you want to die horrifically? Because you will. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> how does this empower women? Well. <laughs> Liv didn't kill her daughter. She decided, no, I'm not going to follow fucking all these yeah. crazy psychos killing their kids. Quick, tie her to a tree, yeah. cut her heart out. It's no. real easy. Real easy. <laughs> no. So she just like said, fuck it and no. let her kid go, yeah. which was great. Um, and all the women were just like taking charge of this event this whole yes. thing and like yes. the women setting a curse on the town because oh, they were about to get burned like fucking tootly. yes i never understood why you would kill supposed witches who could curse you right especially if they are unjustly burned to death yes. violently of course so short-sighted of course they would curse you if they were witches right Hello? Well, <laughs> I would have been screaming everything like, all your babies will fucking Oh my God, burn. yes, absolutely. That's yeah. how you have to do it. <laughs> and honestly, that's how spells are born. Yeah, that energy. Yep. Yeah. The universe is like, oh yeah. yeah. And if people believe in that, which they would if yeah. they're like letting yeah. you get burned at the stake, yeah. Um, yeah, they yeah, would yeah. start creating their own demise. Yeah, so many contradictions <laughs> back then. Yeah. You're causing a... So just a bunch of dummies. <laughs> yeah, it's a good book for women. And that reminds me, the songs I picked for this, I have two songs. Oh, I guess I One of them was The Lighthouse by Halsey, which, mm. der, but also it would just reminded me of the vibes of this book of women who just had shit handed to them over and over. And they're just like, you know what? Fuck all these people. Curses for you. Yeah. Curse for you. You get a curse. Curses. Get a curse. <laughs> Everyone gets a fucking curse. <laughs> and then the other song um, was from the Outlander soundtrack, A Dance oh. of Druids. It okay. has no lyrics. It's just the whole book that was in my head. Oh, neat. Okay. And it's a show about time travel in nice. Scotland, so it's perfect. There you go. There you go. I didn't have a, a song <clears throat> pairing, but I had a show. Mm. Elves felt like this. It was another small oh, town. Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on my list. S- small town, weird fucking mystery that it turns out these yes. are actual elves, but like they're all keeping it secret and they're all still staying there even mm. though this th- horrible thing is happening. Like, mm. yeah. So I thought it was funny. <laughs> you guys can move, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if your lives are in peril. Yeah. You can move. Apparently, since this is about Scotland and witches, Mm -hmm. apparently Scotland is in talks about pardoning all the burned witches. It's about goddamn time. Just like all of them. There were like over 400 or something. Yeah. Damn. Do they get like a holiday that for some reason only (laughs) the government people will be, it will be applied to? Every time. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Canada. We've implemented a new holiday. Oh, that made me fucking... For us. <laughs> cackle. <laughs> sure. I was yeah, so fucking yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. And they were so proud of it. I know. Everybody wear orange to show your support while they all work and we're at home. Yeah. <laughs> Assholes. Yeah. They'll love this. Fuck Canada. They don't have clean water, but they'll love They'll this. love our orange shirts. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it, right? Oh. <laughs> that fixes everything. <laughs> oh, my God. What a book. What a month. Dark yeah. magic. Yeah. Yes. In a book, a start give me year. all the dark yeah. magic. Yeah. Tell I was vibing it. I was wrong. feeling yeah. it. Both these fucking books were so good. Sensational. Which one did you like better? 
Ooh, the book of accidents. Me too. It was just like, <sighs> the family. It was mm-hmm. Maddie was a, a type of us. Yeah, who chose to have children, and that's on that's, her. Good yeah. for you, but um, yeah, she was her sarcasm. She's so was, funny. Oh, yeah, beautiful. But both were great. Stunning. Both Stunning great. works. Oh, CJ. Hmm. I keep forgetting to talk about the authors. Oh no. C.J. Cook is an acclaimed award-winning poet, novelist, and academic with numerous other public publications. Her work has been published in 23 languages. She was born in Belfast. That's good. Nice. She's got a Ph.D. in literature from Queen's University, Damn. Belfast, and is currently a senior lecturer. Nice. Uh, she lives in Glasgow with her husband and forge. Oh! She um, researches creative writing interventions for mental health. Nice. CJ, that's, yeah, like create stuff. That's oh. that's always good for mental health. <laughs> Love it. Oh, boy. That's awesome. Um, so February <coughs> is Mad Love Again. Mm-hmm. How fun. Um, and I chose this book before I saw the cover. The cover is just <laughs> weirds me the fuck out. It's just some woman. You want to like, ask? It's Here's just her ass. ass. But is this a web page? It's, it says a novel. <laughs> All I saw was... But it's like she's climbing a web page. Yep. So it's a little weird. Anyway, it's called A Touch of Jen by Beth Morgan. <clears throat> and Mad Love Indeed. So it's a oh long boy. synopsis. Here we oh go. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Remy and Alicia, a couple of insecure secu- service workers, are not particularly happy together. <clears throat> but they are bound by a shared obsession with Jen, a beautiful former co-worker of Remy's who now seems to be following her bliss as a globetrotting jewelry designer. Inside and outside the bedroom, Remy and Alicia's entire relationship revolves around fantasies of Jen, Mm. whose every Instagram caption, outfit, and new age mantra they know by heart. Oh, they're going to kill her. It's fucking weird. (laughs) Imagine their confused excitement when they run into Jen in the flesh, and she invites them on a surfing trip to the Hamptons with her wealthy boyfriend and their group. Once there, Remy and Alicia try, a little too hard, to fit into Jen's exalted social circle. (laughs) But violent desire and class resentment bubble beneath the surface of this beachside paradise threatening to erupt. As small disturbances escalate into outright horror, we find ourselves tumbling with Remy and Alicia into an uncanny alternate reality. Way out of the blue. (laughs) (laughs) One shaped by their most unspeakable, deviant, and intoxicating fantasies. Is this what self-actualization looks like? (laughs) So basically, so, it's about a weird obsessed couple that's obsessed yep. with this influencer and a literal monster formed out of their obsession. Something this like that. It's going to be. <laughs> talk about messy characters. Yes. Everyone's going to be a shit show. A shit show. And I'm so yep. ready. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> yeah, it sounds fun. Even the review on the front cover Banana's good. <laughs> Funny and sharp and surprising and bittersweet. Just chef's kiss oh like yay. it's it's the emojis oh the chef kiss emoji oh, it's gonna be good <laughs> jen i'm sold <laughs> touch of jen let's go so that's i exciting. like all our themes this month this year i do too um it's a good time and mad love is a great one it is so hard to find books for but when you do they're fun yeah so there should, good. It should be a theme of itself mad love right i guess domestic i when fiction? i looked up domestic stuff it was it's all unsettling. <sighs> Publishers get it together <laughs> in a nice way and then publish. Uh, well, actually, you're a publisher, so <laughs> fuck it. I don't Let's need do you, it. bruh. <laughs> you're dead to me. Maybe we can go on Goodreads and make our own genre oh, and just right. start putting books in that category <laughs> and make it a thing. We're going to make fetch happen. <laughs> watch us. It. Watch us try. <laughs> Oh, what a bunch of themes. <laughs> yep. Mad love. Let's get mm. crazy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, bye. Follow us on Instagram <laughs> at the dot book dot coven. Yeah. <laughs> and watch us on YouTube at, yeah. you know, the book coven. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was Lillian. That's Chelsea. Bye. bye. <laughs>